Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Christian Kohler. In this video, I want to share with you five signs that you may be going through a accelerated spiritual awakening or what some people refer to as ascension. Now, if you're going through these symptoms, I just want to let you know, well done. Uh, I know it may seem a little bit overwhelming um, and a lot's happening in your life, but let me tell you, it is one of the most profound, blessed, special things that could happen to you. For me, it started six months ago and I started noticing incredible things in my life. You know, I started noticing, noticing synchronicities. Um, I, I stopped eating meat. Um, you know, there were massive changes to my sleep patterns. Um, I just received so many divine inspirations. My heart chakra opened. All this crazy shit happened um, over such a short period of time. And I know for a fact that other people are now going through this because there's a mass awakening happening on our planet. And <laughs> it's my deepest desire now to share my experience with other people who may be going through uh, what I went through six months ago because I know it can feel lonely and it can be quite a shock to the system. And certainly, you know, lots of people aren't talking about it. It's not in the mainstream media, <laughs> as you know. So um, I really want to help you by sharing my experience. Before I actually get into the main part of the video, I just wanted to make a few uh, concepts clear. So what do I mean when I say spiritual awakening and what do I mean when I say ascension? So spiritual awakening for me has always been about really waking up to who you really are beyond your conditioned mind. So beyond uh, your ego, beyond your body, waking up to realize that you are the, the witness to your thoughts that you are infinite presence and we're all that. For me, it started when I was about 21 and my sister, um, you know, she sent me a book when I was at university and I received it in the post and I remember opening it up and um, it was Eckhart Tolle's Power of Now. And although my mind, you know, didn't really understand half the shit he was saying in the book at the time, you know, I, I could really feel what he was saying and it really resonated with me on a heart level. And there were moments where, you know, I might have been in the shower, for example, and um, I just noticed the spaces in between my thoughts and um, I was just so so overwhelmed by a sense of peace that I knew I'd stumbled onto something. So that was 10 years ago. And um, you know, over that time, I've read a lot of different books. I've done you know 10-day um, meditations, all that sort of stuff, um, like most of you probably have. But what I want to make clear is that um, something really profound happened about six months ago on my journey. And everything changed after that. Like, I mean, this was a complete game changer. And for me, um, I had a spontaneous Kundalini awakening in yoga and my heart chakra completely opened. Since then, um, I've just been, you know, on a roller coaster of changes and it's fucking amazing. It's exciting. It's so cool. Uh, you're, you might just be starting out on this. So um, really what it, what, what it is, is you're raising your vibrational frequency. That's what ascension is. You're moving out of the density of your body of your mind as you come to inhabit um, a lighter state of being. Um, in order to do that, we need to let go of a lot of conditioning and programming, which is why at times it can feel so damn uncomfortable. Um, but rest assured, it's an incredible process. Let's get into the five signs. The first change I wanna talk about is changes to sleep patterns and diet. And the reason I wanna start with this is because this might be um, you know, the, first, the first significant change that you might notice. Um, for me, it manifested in a few different ways. Um, I, for example, um, used to just wake up at you know four a.m. you know every morning for a certain period of time, and this this happened at the you know at the initial stages of um, the the accelerated awakening or the ascension process. And um, I would just wake up at like you know four a.m. and just just have so much energy, and I I just couldn't get back to sleep. And um, you know at the time I just you know, I just I thought maybe you know I just had more energy for some reason or whatever. I didn't really think much of it, but it began happening, um, you know, just quite repeatedly. And little did I know at the time um, that was you know one of the key signs that ascension was um, taking place. Um, as we go through ascension, um, the body begins to receive a lot more energy and light as it enters into the body, um, and this can manifest as just you know a lot of additional energy or downloads which are coming into the body. Um, which is why we might not feel tired. We just might feel a lot more energized than normal. On the other hand, what can also happen is that um, as we begin to let go of a lot of old conditioning, um, it can make us feel 
you know, quite, quite heavy and lethargic. So you might notice that you're needing a lot more sleep than normal. Um, you know, there were periods of times when, you know, I was letting go of a lot of crap that was coming up for me and I just felt like I needed to sleep. Like I, I swear at times I may have slept for like 12 hours a day because I just felt like I, I had no energy. My body was just so heavy. Um, and you know, th these are really good signs because it means, you know, your body is going through some fundamental changes in order to become a lot lighter and freer. Um, we need to let go of a lot of this heavy stuff that we've been holding on to for so long and that manifests as you know heaviness in the body a lot of the time um the second thing that happened for me and again when it happened i you know i just thought i just thought it was something i wanted to change i didn't realize it was part of something larger which was happening within me and that was changes to my diet so um you know, six months ago, I'd been eating meat for my entire life. And, um, you know, although I felt like I was gradually working up to cutting it out, there was a point where I just said enough was enough. And that culminated in me, you know, I think I'd, I'd been on Netflix and I'd watched, um, I'd watched a really powerful documentary called What the Health. And then a, f a few weeks later, I watched Cowspiracy, um, which is another really powerful documentary. And I remember just something within me just shifted. I just started crying and I said to myself, you know, I, I, I don't want to be a part of this anymore, you know, in terms of the environmental damage which is happening as a result of these industries which are putting so much pressure on the resources of the planet um, and just also the suffering to the animals which, you know, I saw as just an extension of myself. Um, so I just cut out meat completely and um, I just felt myself being drawn to, to lighter foods, to natural foods. Um, and little did I know that, you know, people going through ascension for the first time, th this is a, a common thing which happens. Our body, although we may not know it, um, it, you know, is secretly drawn to lighter or higher vibrational foods. This may be, you know, fresh produce. I was going to the market and I'd never done this before. I was buying, you know, really fresh organic f um, fruit and vegetables. I was drinking lemon water. I was d just drawn to certain foods that I um, you know, I, I hadn't, I hadn't been eating before, but I now realize looking back on it all, that's what my body needed at the time, um, to let go of heaviness. We need to sort of allow the body to stop eating those foods, which are bringing heaviness into the body. The second sign I want to talk about is electrical energy running through your body. Now, this may sound bizarre. You might be like, what, what, what's, what are you talking about Christian? But, um, Again, this was something I began noticing early on during my ascension, um, and it you know it may manifest in in different ways for different people. But for me, um, I began noticing just tingling sensations, like a little electrical impulses running through different parts of my body. And for me, it became most noticeable um, when I was doing Yin Yoga at at Bondi. Um, you know, I had a, a beautiful yoga studio that I used to go to, and um, I, yeah, during some of these in classes that I was doing when I was getting really deep into my practice and really deep into the stretches and the breathing, um, I could literally feel like my body opening up, not just in terms of the blood flow, but just the, 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 the energy that was running through my body. And um, what this is, or what I realized it was, is, you know, um, as we begin to, to open up and as more light comes through the body, your kundalini energy, which is the, you know, the spiritual life force of your body, begins to run through different parts of your body that it may not have accessed before. And the tingling sensations are really impurities which have been in the body for a long period of time clearing out. So I was noticing, you know, as I was stretching my, doing deep leg stretches, for example, I could feel the energy running up through my legs and I could feel certain parts of my, my hips opening up. I could feel tingling sensations in my hands, um, and this began to manifest, you know, um, in different parts of the body, um, you know, as I sort of continued through the practice. But, you know, now I, I still notice them. Um, you know, I, I mentioned that I'd opened up my heart chakra. Um, I, I've since opened my, up my throat chakra as well. But now I'm noticing tingling sensations up in my, my brain almost. So that my kundalini energy as it's flown through my body, um, you know, is now moving, moving up through my, my head into my brain. And I can feel tingling sensations um, when I'm doing yoga or doing sort of deep breathing exercises. So if you're, if you're noticing sort of physical sensations which are happening in your body, amazing, amazing. Um, really good sign. You're clearing out old energy um, to allow yourself to uh, yeah, move into a lighter state of being. So it's beautiful. 
The next one I want to talk about is purging or other physical symptoms. Now, um, <laughs> this can be one of the more um, uncomfortable, sort of difficult um, symptoms to deal with. You know, again, like all of them, it's a really good sign um, because you're letting go of shit that's just not not serving you. But um, you know, when it comes to things like purging, for example, um, it can feel quite intense. So um, for me. So I mentioned I was doing my yoga practice. Um, I, I had a spontaneous, um, you know, kundalini, kundalini awakening in my body um, when I was doing this yoga. And what I noticed is that a lot of my um, chakras began to open up. So uh, my root chakra opened up, my solar plexus chakra opened up. And over the few days that um, sort of ensued, I I became really, really sick um, physically. I think, you know, I'd... I'd you know, I'd been doing fasting, I'd been eating light foods, I, my chakras had just opened up. And, um, you know, I remember waking up after doing, you know, yoga for in intensely for a few days, and I just couldn't get out of bed. I felt, I felt so, so sick, like so, um, so physically sick. And it kind of really scared me because it lasted for two days, and I had no idea what was wrong with me. You know, I thought, you know, I was thinking, shit, you know, I, I I don't know what it is. Maybe there's something wrong with me. I've got cancer or, you know, your mind sort of just goes off and starts thinking, you know, the worst case scenario. So, um, you know, I was vo vomiting nonstop. I couldn't get out of out of bed. And um, I remember going to the doctor and, you know, <laughs> telling the doctor what I was going through. And he's like, oh, I, you know, I had a, I had a sense that it, um, it was something to do with purification that was happening in the body. And I remember saying to my doctor, you know, doctor, I think, um, you know, I, I think I'm going through a deep purification. And, you know, he said, no, I think you've just got like a bug or something. And that's funny because, you know, as, as you know, the mainstream sort of medicine profession, they, you know, the, the, the Western, you know, prognosis would be that, um, you know, you've got a bug when, when really what was happening is I was letting go um, on a very physical level of stuff that um, wasn't serving me. So what we tend to do um, or what, what happens is, as we grow up in this densely sort of unconscious environment, um, you know, we, we hold on to a lot of emotions within the body. We store them within the body. And yoga is such a good way of, of being able to open up the body and um, release, release all the emotions and like, tr you know, trapped energy, which sits deep within parts of the body. And um, as you begin to open up the body and release the, those, those sort of trapped energy pockets, um, it can result in, you know, sort of intense physical symptoms like like vomiting or purging. Another key thing that happens is, um, you know, there may be major changes which are happening in your life or old ways of doing things may be falling away. Old patterns of behaviors might be falling away. You might be, there might be a growing dissonance that you have with your friend groups. Um, as you begin to move through the ascension process, you're literally letting go of your conditioned self. Um, so, a lot of things that you used to do that may not have been good for you start to fall away naturally. And, you know, yes, it feels uncomfortable because we're so used to these ingrained habits that we have, but it's such a beautiful process. Um, so if you're noticing these things, you know, try not to resist it. I know it can be, you know, I know resistance is kind of something we all do as a sort of reactive response, but just know that if this stuff is happening in your life, it's part of the process and, you know, take heart in that. So for me, um, yeah, crazy shit was happening. I just, you know, I noticed that um, I just, uh, well, I stopped stopped drinking was was a big one for me. I used to, I was a bit of a party boy. I used to love drinking and partying with friends and going out to clubs and bars and all of that. I just, it no longer resonated with me. I just couldn't stand being around drunk people. I couldn't stand, you know, the, the sort of shallow surface level chat that would just take place in bars. I felt like it was just so... Um, it just wasn't, it wasn't connecting. I felt like people were kind of just there for a lot of the times ego validation and approval and, and people were not really sort of connecting on a heart level. So I, you know, I stopped drinking and I just didn't like the way it made me feel. It, um, it sort of numbed, I felt like it numbed me and um, it sort of took away from the beautiful presence of just being on a natural high. But, you know, having said this, I drank my entire life, you know, all through my 20s, I was just partying so much. And I think, Obviously, for me, that was a coping mechanism. So as we let go of a lot of emotional um, heaviness in the body, a lot of these coping mechanisms also fall away, which is amazing. It's so amazing. Um, I, yeah, I just, a lot of friends that I used to hang out with, I stopped um, hanging out with. Um, you know, not because they did anything to me or 
um, I was upset or anything by, by stuff they did, but just because, you know, I felt like I just didn't relate to them in a way anymore. I felt like, um, you know, I'd become a lot more aware of just how much they would complain about things or, you know, um, just talk about their problems a lot. And I felt I was moving into a state of being where I became so acutely aware of how, how much our thoughts impact our reality. I couldn't be around people who chose to just be unconscious to, you know, the fact that they're creating their reality. So for me, that was um, a big thing as well. Another thing, you know, that you might be going through, which I certainly w went through, was just, you know, a, a change of career or a change of jobs. You know, I worked in finance for 10 years of my life. And as this ascension process really began to take hold for me, um, I noticed myself just handing in my resignation at work. And it was crazy because my whole life I'd been so afraid of leaving something that felt so stable and secure. Um, you know, I had a, a stable paycheck and... I just I couldn't do it anymore. It, it wasn't about money anymore. I just felt that I just had to had to leave a job that wasn't in line with what I'm here to really do. And even though I didn't know, um, you know, what my sole purpose was or any of that, I just felt it was right, the right thing to do. Um, so you may be going through a change of jobs. You might have been fired. You might have, you know, I, w one thing that I've realised as well is that if we fail to sort of listen to our heart's desire. <laughs> if we and it's easy to do it's easy to kind of push away what what your heart's telling you it might be saying you know this job's not right for you if we fail to listen to it for long enough then um our higher selves can create things like you know us getting fired or sort 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 of, sort of things can um like you know unfold in our lives that kind of force us to take a different direction or look in a in a different direction um so we start moving into what it is that we're here to do the last sign that I want to talk about is synchronicities. So you may you may have noticed synchronicities in your life, like seeing the number eleven eleven on a clock when you um when you yeah when you look at the time randomly. Um, they can manifest synchronicities can manifest in a whole bunch of ways. But in terms of what like the synchronicities actually are and what they mean, really it's your higher self communicating with you, um, trying to trying to reach you through your reality to let you know that uh, you're, you're on the right path or that you're either not on the right path. So um, for me, you know, six months ago, I'd, by the way, I'd never experienced these sorts of synchronicities like seeing numbers or, or stuff like that. But for me, it's, it, it really started six months ago when I, when I moved to London. So I left my job in Sydney. I moved to London um, because I just felt called to, to come here. And, you know, after my, my heart chakra opened and I just you know, I felt so overwhelmed with love and, um, you know, I just spontaneously burst into tears when I was on the train and stuff like this. But, you know, I began noticing synchronicities. Like I, I began feeling like somehow the universe was communicating to me or, or sort of leading me certain directions. I honestly felt, <laughs> I honestly felt like, like, uh, uh, Truman Burbank in the movie, um, the Truman show, uh, who, Jim, you know, the movie with Jim Carrey, it's an amazing movie if you haven't seen it. Um, because for me, it's so, so, is so clearly sort of, um, you know, encapsulates what it's like to sort of wake up out of this conditioned reality that we're, we're all living in. So I felt like, I felt a little bit crazy at the time when I started noticing these patterns and these synchronicities because I was like, what, am I going crazy? What's going on? Or, you know, is, am I is somehow, you know, my higher self is sort of leading me to certain um, decisions and actions. So, you know, I was led to um, the right place to live, for example, um, which was incredible. I moved to this beautiful cottage in West London and, um, you know, th there were so many crazy things that, you know, I, I probably can't talk about in this video because I don't have enough time, but so many things led me to this exact house and I feel like it was a house that I had in my mind's eye when I was meditating. Um, and just, you know, crazy shit happening where you just know, you know it's not a coincidence because so many things unfold in such a synchronistic, beautiful way that you just feel like, the universe has sort of got you back. And it's not so much sometimes about the patterns that you see or the numbers. Um, it's, it, it's more about the feeling you get when you see them, when you feel like, oh my God, that's just too much of a coincidence. That's the universe communicating to you. You're on the right path. And um, it's so beautiful and they, they come and they go. But um, yeah, if you're noticing them, that's, that's really beautiful. So I'm really happy for you. That's it, guys. That's... Um, that's the video right there for you. Um, you know, there, there's there's a whole bunch of other things that you can notice when you're on this path. I just wanted to cover five of the key ones which were um, really pivotal to my experience over the six months. But if you're noticing um, 
these symptoms and you can relate to what I'm saying, fucking amazing. Like I'm so, I'm so happy for you. It's beautiful. I know it can seem really frightening and it's kind of, you, you might feel like it's hard to talk to people about what you're going through, like, um, because they're, you know, you're afraid they might think you're crazy because they're still living in, you know, the matrix or the, or their conditioned reality. It's okay. Um, there are other people who are also going through what you're going through. In fact, more and more people are beginning to go through what you're going through. So, um, you know, jump online, research, research a lot. I know there's like a lot of helpful websites out there. There's other people who are also uploading YouTube videos, um, you know, that you might find really, really helpful. Um, you know, I found a guy called Victor Otto um, and he, he was just a shining, um, a shining light for me at times when I just felt so down and, and dark because I just felt so alone with what I was going through. So there are other people who are here to help you. And yeah, I just want to finish off by saying um, it is the most incredible thing if you're going through this. Life is become so magical in a way that I can't even begin to explain. If I look at my life, um, you know, 12 months ago, uh, there's no way in my wildest dreams would I have imagined um, where I am today in terms of the experiences I'm going through, the people I'm meeting, just how much, oh my God, I feel like I'm such a different person. I don't have any fear anymore. I feel like my mind doesn't hold me back anymore. I'm, I, I'm able to rise above my mind and I can really do anything that I put my mind to. It's fucking beautiful. Um, you're beautiful. I love you. Um, I hope you have an amazing day and yeah, um, I'll see you next time. Bye.